I have added to my existing drip irrigation system in my landscape and I've added a new system to my vegetable gardens but I've had pots that I got tired of watering. This one's too wet so I had to change it from a emitter to just a little end sprinkler and then I tightened it way down so that it wouldn't have so much flow to it. But all my other pots I put in I I forget, I think they're a gallon gallon per half hour emitters on stakes in my pots. So I don't have to water those all the time. There's my lavender. I need to hide the tubing, but basically tapped into the half inch tubing that was already here, some of which is buried, some isn't. So where I had to dig in, dig some holes to tap in, but into the existing system for the bird bath too. Ran some quarter inch tubing and a drip into my bird bath that has a solar fountain in it. The birds love it. Sorry the neighbors are doing yard work. My chamomile pot and I have chives, ginger mint, and my lemon bone didn't come back on doing this I had to replace the packing in my old faucet because it was leaking right at the valve stem right here so I had to turn the water main off remove that take out the old packing dig it out and then put new a new um, o-ring in I added another T because I couldn't find a water timer that had two outlets on it they're all sold out this line goes to my existing drip system to the flowers in my landscape in the front and backyard. All the way back. And then I wanted, I have the splitter because I wanted my regular hose to, so that I can use that anytime I wanted without having to unhook things. And then the second, I have another splitter here. Like I said, this goes to my existing landscape and then this is the new system that goes to my raised bed gardens so i've got the connection assembly with the pressure reducing valve and the backflow preventer the timer i have set to go off seven o'clock every morning for a half an hour and then that I don't have it very good it runs along the foundation i have it staked in until I have time to bury it. Comes along the back sidewalk. Back behind my outdoor seating area. Along the fence here, and then I have it going back behind the raised beds, and then I tap into that. And what I've done is run soaker holes in each bed. I tried sprinkler heads, sprinkler numbers, and they don't cover like you'd expect. So I went to soaker, and it's just quarter inch tubing soaker hose in each raised bed. And that seems to give me the best coverage. The bean bed is not doing well. It's just been too cold and then it went too hot. This is all Broccoli rug, broccoli cauliflower kale, lettuces, some French purple rubber beans in the back. Um, I've got some cilantro in here, buried under the cabbage leaves, thyme. I might have to move those so they get more sun. Romaine lettuce, bok choy. I've been getting a lot of salads. There's tarragon in there, but there's a soaker hose all along this bed too. I think I've got this one going, there are three lengths, I've looped it three times throughout the garden, but I remember right. 
Oh yeah, I had to tap into this one twice because, and then put plugs on the end because the uh, water doesn't reach all the way to the end of the soaker hose. Neighbor's cat. Hi, Freddy. Hi, Freddy. Do not eat my birds. This is my tomato bed. I've got some parsley and basil in here too. The tomato and peppers. Peppers are not liking it. And there's an eggplant or two in there. The tomatoes are finally taking off. I've grown these from seeds, so I'm happy about that. And I've got some cool varieties. The last bed is all different types of onions, shallots, leeks, a few peas that did come up, beets. Um, parsnips and a few varieties of carrots and then down here I have my garlic I planted last fall some fennel radishes I already dug up I don't like to eat them but I grow them and then I have three of these bags I'll include those in the links below but they are planted with potatoes different varieties and the cantaloupe, sugar baby watermelon, and what was the other one? I might have put cucumber starts in here. But these bags, I also put a drip emitter in here so I don't have to water these all the time. And then the last thing I put on the drip system on this 100 foot half inch tubing, plus I've got these three bags and I've got different types of squash. There's a butternut in one. Um, spaghetti in one and I forget what's in the other and then I also planted some patio corn seeds and beans but I don't know they're just not doing too good but those all have a drip emitter in them and then the last thing is my tower garden which I've kind of neglected this year but things are coming up but I just ran another quarter inch tap into the top which is pathetic right now but at least that's getting water without me having to do it every day and that should perk it up and get things going. It's coming around. I just kind of put extra seed starts in here, threw some extra seeds in empty pockets, which I apparently need to do again. That's my new drip system that I put in to my garden that you saw me build in the video previously. I'm excited for it to really take off now.